Welcome to another edition of Kyle Meredith with audio interview series presented by WFPK Independent Louisville, Consequence of Sound, and the Consequence Podcast Network. I'm Kyle Meredith. Today, I'm talking with Lou Barlow. You know Lou from the solo stuff, you know him from Sabado, the folk implosion, and of course, Dinosaur Jr. He's got a brand new solo single out called Love Intervene. I got to talk with him about the intentions behind that song and its connections to Right to Choose. We also get an update on Sebado and, of course, Dinosaur Jr., who are going to be uh, touring with Mastodon this year. It's Kyle Meredith with Lou Barlow. Hey. Well, let's start with the new single, Love Intervene. Uh, it was a nice surprise. It was sort of out of nowhere. So I'd love to hear the story on this, uh, on this synthy little number. It's a new song that I wrote, and I got uh, a couple of guys from my hometown or, you know, where I'm living right now to play on it. We recorded it in uh, the bass player's basement, and it was just, it was just, I just wanted, I just really wanted to put put something out. I hadn't done it in a while, and I just, I had, I've got this sort of new cycle of songs that are kind of coming, and those two particular songs were the ones that kind of poked their heads up first, and I thought, okay, you know, let's, uh, I want to finish these. I want to do something. I want to, I want to, I want to make some new music, so... Mark, uh, the bass player, is, he works with Dinosaur Jr. as our sort of primary engineer, you know, who records our stuff, and and he also tours with us as a, like a guitar roadie, and um, so we're pretty good friends. So I just thought it would be uh, an easy, easy and fun thing to do, and it was. I'm not always able to catch lyrics all that quick, but but as I'm following along on this, uh, that that second verse really pops out. You know, where is the faith in the faithful, and all the way up to where you ask where her right to choose. So are you looking at a bigger picture conversation with those lyrics as I'm getting? Yeah, that's my issue. My issue is women's rights and rights over their body. They should have rights over their own bodies and should be able to do, be free to do the things that men would absolutely do at a drop of a hat. If they had to. <laughs> like, I can get an abortion. I'll do that right now. I mean, it would be... You know, it's like they, they like they say that if men uh, if men needed to have abortions or men wanted to have abortions, it would just become like a, a law. It would become a sacrament. It would be men would always men always find a way to you know it's um, it's it's a complex issue. I mean, I I, I know it's divisive, I, but that's just one thing I have to say. You know, I'm very I'm very open to a lot of middle ground with all kinds of things and. And understanding where, and trying to understand where people come from, and and especially in this sort of device of time, you know. But when it comes down to something like just that, I'm like, you know, I gotta say it. I'm willing to go into the grave for all kinds of things, but that, but that, uh, that particular sentiment, is, I just felt I needed to say it in the song. So, well, let me say first then that you've really written it, uh, really poetically, because I know that can be a challenge when you're tackling issues, uh, how to do it poetically. But you did, you did a wonderful job. <laughs> now, on the personal side. As you're going there and agreeing with you, it's a shame that it's a complex issue because it shouldn't be, especially in 2018. I mean, people's rights and what they can do with their own body, it really does seem uh, it seems ludicrous that we're still talking and, uh, and arguing about that. Yes. Right. We already figured this out. Can we, just, can we just kind of go with this? I mean, it's not great. I mean, it's, not, it's a very it's a hard issue. It's, it's very emotional. It does. It takes its toll. People, there, there are things that... I like to write songs. <laughs> I guess something like that. It's like you know, I can be so when I try to speak about it, I get really, I can be really inarticulate, and I, I guess putting it into a song was a way to try to, yeah, just make it into something that make it into like like a prayer, for lack of a better word. You know? Now I feel like there's a story with the artwork. You got your arm in a sling, uh, and then maybe the press release. I also heard about jury duty. So basically, it sounds like you had a really rough winter anyway. So what happened with your arm? Is that is that a break or a strain? It was my collarbone. I snapped my collarbone. Yeah, I slipped on the ice, and I was holding my, my two-year-old. and Well, she wasn't quite two at the time, but she was almost two. And then I, I slipped on the ice, and I kind of pivoted so I didn't land on her and just landed right on my right shoulder, and it just snapped my collarbone. I, and then I, it ended up being a pretty bad break, so I had to get – I had to – have an operation on it and you know, I have a metal collar bro. That's kind of exciting. <laughs> I had jury duty too at the same I mean like jury duty haunts me. I don't know why every I just I am always being picked. I mean not for juries, but I'm always getting the notice that I need jury duty and it's like just drives me crazy because I'm always I need to go on tour and if I don't tour it's the only way. I mean it's just it be I blow it up into such an incredible threat to my livelihood that I, I invest all this uh just resistance into it and I reschedule and I postpone it and then I finally got to this point where I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> I couldn't postpone it anymore. 
And then I snapped my collarbone, and then I had to. I was like, I had to go to jury duty. I was like, I got to do it this time, otherwise they're gonna like. I mean, they were they're being pretty cool anyway. I mean, they were already. They had allowed me to schedule for a local court, and I I put my little. I had a cat. I was wearing my cast, you know, to keep my arm still while my collarbone was broken. I walked out the stairs to go to jury duty, and I slipped oh, God. immediately <laughs> and went like right up and like landed on my ass, like, oh, like going to jury. I was like, I was like, what? And I was just, I mean, not, that ended up being nothing happened. There was no injury, but the, the, the just the comedy of it all. Like I was, I had invested so much time resisting these things, and like in the end, in the end, I just had to, you know, I had to muddle my way to jury duty and go through it, and you know, not get picked for the jury, you know, because I told them I had to leave some. And they're like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank like, you for coming in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't. You know, we can't shoot. You know, it was, it was just remarkably easy. And I don't know why I invested so much resistance into it. This winter was just not, it was, it was not the best. So you got this great single out there. And you say you're working on songs. Does that mean there's plans for a, uh, a solo release? Is something you're still working on? Well, I guess it's, I've started talking to my um, Sebado bandmates about recording. Um, they seem really excited to record. So we kind of talked about maybe trying to throw something together this year. I would love to have the time to, I would, I, yeah, I, mean, I have a body of, there's a body of songs that that's coming out that's like really poking at me right now. And I, I would love, <laughs> I would love to just sit and sit and record. I'd love to do that, but I, I really need to, right now it's like it's about touring and, you know, keep feeding my kids, paying my bills and all that stuff. And and so I'm doing that, but I'm having a great time. And right now, like I'm touring, I've got the, the drummer from Sebado. Is, he's traveling with me because I love traveling with him. He's a real, real easygoing guy. And so he's helping me with some of these drives that I got coming up. And we're just hanging out and I'm playing these shows. It's kind of slightly unconventional spots, you know, and playing earlier in the evening and playing for a long time and talking to people. It's been really nice. And speaking of touring, Dinosaur Jr. with Mastodon? Yep. That's a big lineup. Yeah, that's happening. It's a prehistoric lineup. I'd heard that was something you all talked about doing for a long time. Is it is it because of the novelty of the name? Yeah, I think so. I think maybe that's purely it. I don't know. I remember one time, I think one time we were, it was just, just by chance, by coincidence, we were going through a, the Canadian border, and uh, Mastodon's bus was in front of ours. And uh, luckily, the customs people had so much business to do with Mastodon that they waved us through. So I think I've always felt like a certain affection for Mastodon because we were we were spared the <laughs> we were spared being searched and prodded and questioned and detained at, at the Canadian border because Mastodon was in front of us. To be perfectly honest, I have almost no knowledge of their music. I do like the name. I yeah. think it seems promising. They seem heavy. You know, it sounds like it sounds like it, it would be something. I'd like to watch them play. That's the kind of music I like to see live as opposed to, you know, throwing it on around the house. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And with that, I'll bring up Dinosaur Jr. too, because uh, you just released a one-off song with Hold Unknown. It's it's nearly zany with everything that's going on in the single. And Can I can I stop you for a second and just, I have to say something. I did not play on that song. I had no idea that it existed. I have yet to hear it myself. Really? Really. It's a J. It's a Jay Maskus solo recording, but I think that I mean he is he is he's dinosaur. He is dinosaur junior. He is the, he is the holder of the name. He is the so he he can decide what dinosaur junior is. So if he does a if he does a solo recording, he can make it a dinosaur. He can be a dinosaur junior kind of song. It's Mur, like Murph and I both were just like, what is this? Like we, and I, I I totally I was like messing with our manager too. I was like, what is this? Am I out of the band now? <laughs> Texting me back like, no no. Oh God! No, 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 no! It's just the thing Jay did. No, it's no. That's really interesting, though, to to not know something about your main day job. I mean, uh, what an interesting way to live. Yeah, it's surprising. You know, you get to find. I mean, like there, there's also something else just came out. It was like a live recording from the Third Man Studios, and I know we were there, and I know I recorded. I recorded while we were there, but I honestly had to. I have to question. I don't. I am not sure whether the recording that was just released is actually does actually have Murph and I on it. You know, still, I like. I there is. A, I do like. I have sort of an ingrained doubt about any of this stuff. I mean, I was like. Well, you know, I mean, I do as stable as I can feel in the band and as, as involved in it as, as I am. And it's like as, as much as I enjoy it, I almost do feel like at any moment the axe could fall. You know, it's like 
and there could be like some release come like some I could see a tour scheduled or a release like that and go like oh I didn't know about that I guess that's it you know? <laughs> that's why I keep busy on my own I guess that's the great part about Sebado still going strong yeah you know I mean we're we'll be kind of getting our stuff together this year and so I think Jay's got a he's gonna do a solo record again at some point. Well, I, I was going to ask if this leads to another Dinosaur Jr. album, but maybe you don't know if it does. You know, I'm going to say I'm, I have faith. I think it's going to happen mm-hmm. sometime in the next... I, I, probably, I don't imagine that we would get into the studio anytime. I would say 2019 might be a time when we would reconvene and uh, start working on another record. I hope so, you know. Well, then I'll bring this up in a bit of an awkward way because it's the uh, it's the 25th anniversary of the album Where You Been, which is a Dinosaur Jr. album that you're not on. And, and I'd wondered if that disqualified it from getting any kind of like special live treatment since you weren't on that LP. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're going to like form a band <laughs> Just with be- the people that actually played on that record. No, I don't know. I mean, I guess it does. I mean, I, I, I mean if, the, if, if the word came down, like, you know, Lou, we're going to do these Where You Been shows and you need to learn all those tunes, I'd be like, okay. So you've got no issue with that then? No, I got no, no. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, Dinosaur Jr. is like, it's so, you know, such, so much a part of my life and my relationship to those guys is so important to me. And, and I, it's a funny, evolving situation and I, I love it. So, yeah, I'll, you know. And, you know, to be honest, like the last, you know, considering what a stormy sort of beginning we had and all of the issues that I had with that stuff, I have to say that, that it's actually, I feel very, you know, I, I feel respected and, you know, and treated well in my role as a, as a, as a member of Dinosaur Jr. So I, you know, I, I will definitely, I will, I will go where I'm, I'm, where I'm needed. Yeah. Well, I, I obviously do love it when you all work together. I, I love it anytime you put out music. And again, uh, I look forward to whenever you can get around to Sebado again. And in the meantime, this single, Love Intervene, it's a really fun song. So I appreciate you putting it out there. Yeah, I love playing it. I've been playing it live, like sort of solo, and I'm really enjoying it. It feels, it feels right. So. Well, thank you for taking the time to call and uh, getting us caught up on everything. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks for calling. All right. We'll see you around. Take care. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. And thanks to Lou Barlow for giving me the call today. The new single is Love Intervene. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Consequence of Sounds at YouTube to keep up with your favorite artists and interviews. And for folks listening on the podcast, please do head over to iTunes or Podchaser. Give us a rating and a review. WFPK.org. That's where I do a show every Monday through Friday from noon till 3 Eastern. I'm Kyle Meredith. I'll see you next time. 